Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies PLTR stock. In this video, we will be analyzing three articles, to where the first one is titled, UK's NHS Hands US-based Palantir Contract for Patient Data Software, which is exactly what I predicted would happen, and finally we see another prediction coming to fruition. Another prediction that we have outstanding is that eventually their commercial enterprise clients will outpace their government agencies in terms of the amount of revenue that they get from that particular segment because Palantir is divided between their commercial agency segment as well as their government segment. So we're going to be going over this phenomenal news which should act as a catalyst for their overall share price. But sometimes the market acts irrationally and the share prices end up pulling back despite good news. The next article we're going to be discussing is titled five investors betting big on a Palantir PLTR stock. So we're going to be going over some of their top shareholders and why major institutions are betting big on this company. Lastly, we're going to analyze an article titled The Three Best Defense Stocks to Buy Now. And this would include Palantir Technologies. So if you're looking for some other companies to buy that are very safe and which should increase in their overall price over the next year due to geopolitical turmoil, then these are the companies that you would want to focus on and at minimum add to a watch list. So with all of that being said, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to go and become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents to support me personally because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. And with all of that being said, let's dive right into today's stories. Palantir, as you already know, is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government clients. And this company also specializes in artificial intelligence as well as machine learning. And like we said in the intro, this company has officially achieved and been handed the NHS contract. But there's more to this. For instance, I'm going to quote directly from this Reuters article, which says, Britain's state-run National Health Service, also known as NHS, awarded a contract to a group of companies led by US-based Palantir Technologies to develop new software to handle patient data, and the NHS said it expects investment in the platform to be at least 20 5.6 million pounds or roughly 32 million dollars in the first year. They also have the option to continuously expand this contract up to 330 million pounds over the course of seven years. Now, the interesting thing I find about this is twofold. One, it seems that it was a group of companies led by Palantir Technologies that has been awarded the contract according to this article. The second thing I find interesting about this is that in the first year, it will be worth around $32 million with the potential to expand up to £330 million. Pounds. And if you see on screen here, we see $1 equals 0 0.8025 pounds, meaning the pound is stronger than the US dollar, meaning that £330 pounds is well over $330 million. And we also know that this contract could be extended for seven years. So this is a very good growth catalyst for Palantir. But like we said earlier, sometimes the market acts irrational and the share price of the company pulls back despite good news due to people and investors taking profits before and during this catalyst. But with that being said, which is phenomenal news, let's move on to talk about their top five investors. Coming in at number one, we have Vanguard Group, which is a very prestigious investment institution who holds 187.33 million shares and they recently increased their position in Palantir stock during the third quarter by 18.75 million shares. The number two holder is actually an individual investor named Peter Thiel, who holds 163.46 million shares. So clearly Peter Thiel is very confident in the future of this company. Next, we see BlackRock, ticker symbol BLK, who holds 105.47 million shares, and they recently bought 2.42 million shares during quarter three. Next, we have Renaissance Technologies holding 43.60 million shares, where they added another 3.8 million during quarter three. And then lastly, we have State Street, who has 37.01 million shares, and they increased their position in quarter three by 1.2 million. So it's great to see that these major institutions are all 
adding a Palantir to their overall diversified portfolios, which are massive. These companies get to manage billions and billions of dollars worth of assets, and it's good to see how they are buying this company. Another thing to note is that once Palantir is added to the S&P 500, more major institutions as well as individual retail investors will be buying Palantir every time they buy into the S&P 500 index, which should cause the overall share price to increase. This leads us to talking about some of the best defensive stocks to buy right now. Because despite the defense spending boom, some defensive stocks haven't really surged right now due to the tailwinds. We've seen Russia spend records amounts of money on their military budget, while in the meantime, the United States in the near future will follow suit. And this money is going to pour into defensive contractors, which are tracked by the iShares US Aerospace and Defense ETF called ITA. There are a lot of other phenomenal ETFs that track defensive and aerospace stocks, so I would encourage you to do some research and look into that. But let's identify some singular companies, such as RTX Corporation, ticker symbol RTX, which was formerly known as Raytheon. This company has massively underperformed the general defensive sector while losing 20% of their value since January. So you might think, why are they on this list? Well, interestingly enough, Enough, they dropped so much that they are now undervalued, making it a phenomenal buying opportunity. Just recently, their shares have already climbed back 10%. We also know that last month, RTX beat analysts' expectations on both their earnings to where they brought in $1.25 per share, and they also beat on their revenues, netting $18.95 billion. So they are demonstrating financial strength, and they recently approved a $10 billion stock buyback program, which is phenomenal. The stock currently trades at for $78 per share, but analysts believe it is undervalued right now and it could surge up to $110 per share. We also see Morningstar pegging RTX's fair value at $112 per share, giving it more upside, approximately 40% above where we see it right now. On top of that, the company approved a dividend of $0.59 cents per share, marking a 5 0.49% dividend yield when combined with their buybacks, and that is very impressive. So not only are you getting growth and stock price appreciation from this company, but you're also getting dividend passive income. So you are making money in multiple ways with this stock, and that's where the company currently trades today. Next, we also talked about Palantir Technologies, which is an artificial intelligence play, as well as a big data analytics company. And although bears have been critical about this company for their reliance on government contracts, I still think think that their commercial revenue source will eventually outpace their government contracts, making them more diversified in their revenue streams. But despite that, considering that they have already won multiple United States Army contracts, military contracts, and even contracts over in Ukraine, and now we can add this NHS contract to the list, this is absolutely phenomenal for this company. So analysts that are assessing this stock believe this company has a lot of long-term potential, especially as they shape the future of warfare, according to analysts. We also know as conflicts continue to rise and geopolitical turmoil continues to deepen, many other stocks in the stock market will lose value, unlike defensive stocks like Palantir or Raytheon or even our next stock we will talk about, which should actually increase in their overall share price during this time, because macroeconomic volatility and geopolitical turmoil makes these companies go up. That's why these are defensive safe stocks to buy to add to your portfolio. We also know Palantir is very data driven and they are using technology to help corporate leaders and military leaders make data driven decisions by leveraging AI integrated platforms which affect the results on the battlefield or in the commercial market. Currently it's trading at a rather high share price of $20 per share while analysts believe it could surge up to $25 over the next 12 months. So be hesitant for a pullback in this company because it has received a lot of good news lately but it has yet to pull back substantially and I think that is just around the corner so please be aware of that. Lastly let's talk about Aerovironment stock, AVAV, which we've talked about on the channel before. What you need to know about this company is that warfare is changing and there is greater reliance on autonomous vehicles so we don't have to use people. So people are not being terminated and instead only machines and robots are. Recently, Aerovironment's unmanned aircraft marked a milestone to where the aircraft was deployed in support of a multi-domain environment comprising of air, sea, land, and 
digital, and this exercise was done over in Poland. So it's great to see how this autonomous air vehicle could be used remotely in a plethora of various environments. Currently, the share price trades at $128, while analysts believe it could surge up to $130, which doesn't give us a lot of upside right now, but we are focusing on safety and the future. This company mainly focuses on surveillance and reconnaissance, and this company also invests heavily into electronic warfare aircraft that has historically been manned, but now we want unmanned aircrafts. Therefore, their entrance in this space means a lot of success and human life will be spared during future conflicts. Also, we know that AVAV is growing, and they are set to buy their partner Tomahawk Robotics for around $120 million. Tomahawk already supplies AVAV in regards to how AV makes their drones, and this is ultimately going to bolster this company over the long term. Secondly, bringing Tomahawk directly on board means that their verticals will reduce their overall supply chain friction, which will save money and time for this company over the long term. So with that being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts about RTX, Palantir Technologies, as well as Aerovironment. Go ahead and annihilate that like button for more videos just like this one. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next YT video.